everyone and welcome back to my cycling studio. Today for a video about something that didn't quite work out as it should have. Yes, the other day I was with my friends in Richmond Park, we were going through the flat section, Priory Lane, I was pushing maybe 3000, 5000 watts, I don't know exactly. Yes guys, I don't have a power meter because yes, last time I put one, my enormous power kind of melted the power meter, ended up in flames, so no, I'm just joking. So, um, we were on a flat stage and all of a sudden my left foot dislodged from the pedal and I almost ended up crashing to the floor. Luckily nothing happened and um, I was wondering what really happened, why my foot suddenly unclipped and unfortunately I found out that the clip had actually broken. So the toe path that connects to the pedal had detached from the main section of the cleat, so wouldn't allow anymore the cleat to stay in place. Very disappointing. I have to say that the cleats that failed were the Decathlon Van Rysen ones. Yes, I rotate three sets of shoes. I do have two RC7 Shimano, and on the white Shimano RC7, I do have the Van Rysen cleats. On the Sirocco shoes, I'm using the Shimano ones, same Shimano on the black RC7. So, one day when I posted a video about the cleats and I mentioned the yellow pads, someone said that the Shimano cleats are actually worse than the Barisel and the Decathlon one do wear at a lower rate, so they are slightly better. So, I did give them a try, I put them on, they were quite comfortable, really you can't feel a difference when they are in place and I said yes in all fairness the yellow pads they do wear out at a slower rate than the Shimano counterpart so these ones have been uh, used quite a bit I can see that the Shimano ones tend to wear out quite quickly but the yellow elements are only there for avoid you sleeping when walking so they don't really affect the clipping or the engagement of the shoes with the pedals. So it is something that is not really connected with the cycling efficiency. So yes, unfortunately, even though the Barassel do have a better yellow pads, the cleat itself seems to be weaker than the Shimano counterparts. So let's have a look at how the cleats are designed and the differences between a brand new the Carflow by Ryzen 1 and the Shimano SPD SL cleats. By the way guys, I'm wearing a cycling kit indoors <laughs> because I do like it and <laughs> to show you the new SRX2 line from uh, Sirocco. Of course, my good friends at Sirocco has sent me this beautiful jersey of lilac color and the SRX2, compared to the previous uh, SRX models, have a slightly thicker material, similar to a perforated design. Now they have added a zip compartment on the side. I'm still wearing medium, but of course now it's on the very tight end. I don't mind. I'm 185 cm tall, 86, 87 kilos. So medium for me is uh, to the very end. Maybe I could wear large as well if I were more sensible. If you want to shop for Sirocco, don't forget to use my link or my code you can get a 10% extra discount on top of all the available promotion and I thank you for your support. Let's see the differences between the two cleats. Both are marked as yellow, so the yellow cleats are the ones that offer a little bit more float and I do believe that the float is essential to be comfortable on the bike. Me personally, when I sit a little bit more upright, my toes tend to go a little bit outwards when I push really hard on the nose, my toes go a little bit inwards. So having the float for me is essential to allow a really comfortable position on the bike. Don't forget to watch my video about the clip positioning because I'm very proud of it. Although they look similar from the outside, the, the Kaflo one is uh, built in uh, two pieces. I'm not sure why they decided to do this uh, construction and also the front and the rear looks like they have an insert from a different plastic so the section is not continuous plastic but there is a different grade of plastic possibly inserted at the front and the back 
while the Shimano ones is uh, all the same material altogether in black. And this could be possibly the weak spot for the, the carton cleats where the front toe detached and allowed the unclip from uh, the pedal. You can clearly see that the front section is broken. I did notice, in all fairness, in the days coming up to the failure, that it was slightly more difficult to clip in the left foot. I didn't know why. I thought there was some dirt in the pedal or the cleat, so I didn't really pay much attention to it. I should have, in hindsight. Now, I do use the shoes uh, with similar rate. I do walk back and forth the bike when I go to work. I do have a couple of flights of stairs, but I don't really go for long walks or on rough terrains. So I'm not sure whether I did have any particular impact on these cleats. So this is something really I would not have expected for the clips to break because when you push hard you kind of move out of the saddle in the front so you tend to push rather than vertically you move to a situation where you push from the front to the back and the pressure on the front of the pedal is higher and uh, yes this breakage should not have happened and uh, could have been even worse in terms of consequences if I had hit the ground. The Shimano construction seems a bit beefier. Uh, the fact that it's all uh, together one piece of plastic molded visually seems to be a bit stronger. And uh, although I do have a new set of Van Riser clips, I have to say on these shoes, I'm going to replace them with the Shimano ones. Just because, yes, it was a bit unnerving to have a pedal and clip this way all of a sudden. And uh, Looking at the breakage, I'm not sure whether I could trust another set for my kind of ride. I really like the Cathron. I shop quite regularly with them. In this instance, one bad experience sometimes is enough to make your judgment and uh, I'm not sure whether it's uh, convenient for me to give these cleats a second chance. Guys, let me know in the comments your experience. If you did have some breakage on the Shimano cleats as well, it might have happened. And uh, for now, I think I made up my mind. I will stick with Shimano for the foreseeable future, just in case my enormous wattage will uh, break another set of the Decathlon. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your feedback and your experience. I love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.